fam welcome back to i love me 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 so today i am going to do a get to know me tag so basically what that means is i will ask myself the questions which i have them here on my handy dandy phone and i will answer them so you can know a little bit more about me who i am and you will be brought into my world a little bit more so i have 25 questions i'll just go ahead and start reading them because i don't want to make this video any longer than it needs to be all right so the very first one is what's your name um honestly i have been debating about saying my name online i know that i'm online and for the world to see me blah 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 however i have been debating if i'm going to ever say my name and the reason is because i don't think it's important for me to have to say my name in order to in order to deliver the information to you guys however I'm going to be a big sport and say it. So my name is Marshawn, after all of that. <laughs> my name is Marshawn. All right, the second question is, do you have any nicknames? Well, um, in my grown-up years, my friends have been calling me Sean, short for Marshawn. Um, and I do have a nickname, my family nickname, but you guys will never know that. Any family, any close friends, you um, you better not put my nickname in the comment section. It will be deleted. Okay, so no, that is a top secret name <laughs> that nobody needs to know. And I just like my um, grown-up name, okay? My government name, Marshawn. I like that name now. So anyway, my place of birth. I was actually born in Youngstown, Ohio. The fourth question is, what's your birth date? My birth date is May 4th. Taurus in house. Taurus in the hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Taurus in the hat. Yes. Anywho, moving up. <laughs> um, number five is what's your star sign? I'm, I'm assuming that this means my, um, what is it? Astrological sign. So my astrological sign, I just said it. Taurus. Moving on. Um, my occupation. I am actually a pathology assistant. So basically that is someone who dissects human disease tissue. Specifically, um, let's go with cancer. Most people know cancer, but there are other diseases that I dissect. Anyway, so I do that and I also perform autopsies. So again, that is called a pathology assistant. Um, what is my hair color? My hair color is a dark brown. Um, this one, this actually, my um, protective style makes my hair look darker than it is. And I'm sure you see my gray patches up here. And this gray, first, let me just do a side note. This gray patch has been up there since I have been 18. And it's funny because the bigger, now it's starting to get bigger the older I am. And more people are noticing it. But this gray patch right here has been there since I've been 18. So anyway, moving on with life, my actual color other than this gray patch and a couple stray grays over here is the dark brown color. All right, my eye color is also dark brown. Next question, my best feature. I think my best feature is my smile and my eyes. Uh, a lot of people love my smile. I get complimented on my smile all the time, but then a lot of people like my almond-shaped eyes. So I would have to go with those two. Those two are my best features. Um, do I have braces, piercings, or tattoos? Never had braces, however, I do want them, but I doubt if I ever get them because, again, people tell me that my smile is very pretty. Even though my teeth actually are not aligned on top of each other, if I smile, you can actually see they're actually shifted over. <laughs> anyway, most people don't pay attention to that. I notice it because it's my mouth. But, no, I've never had braces. I did think about getting Invisalign, but... Hasn't worked out. Whatever. No big deal. I probably will never get them. No big deal. Um, Let's see. Piercings. Yes. So in each lobe at the bottom, I have three on each side. And then I also have a cartilage piercing up here. Oh, I, I took out my earring, so you won't be able to see it. But anyway, I have a cartilage piercing up there. I used to have a nose ring in my big old nose. I used to have a nose ring when I was younger. And then I also used to have a belly button ring, but I took them both out mainly just because I'm getting older and I have no more use for them. Who cares about them now? Um, so my, my nose ring and my belly button are actually both closed up. They're, they've been closed up. Um, so moving on tattoos. I have one tattoo over the top of my breast. Honestly, it's been there since I was 18, and I, a lot of time, forget that it's even there. As you can see, it's, it needs to be colored back in. Uh, the scroll across it actually is my name. It says Marshawn, but it's been there for so long, you can't even read it. I always forget it, that it's there until I wear a low-cut shirt, and then, of course, the men are staring at my boobs. So, whatever. That's the only tattoo um, that I have. Am I a righty or a lefty? I am actually a righty. 
However, I, al I always wanted to be a lefty because I just think it's sexy and, of course, because it's different. But I am a righty. Um, I can write um, a tiny bit with my left hand, but it actually looks like I'm in kindergarten if I write with my uh, left hand. But you can actually read the letters that I'm writing. But anyway, I just need to nurture it. I know, but I probably won't. Moving on with life. Uh, number 12 is what's my favorite movie? Honey, <laughs> like most black women. <laughs> Uh, I have two favorite movies actually and um, Love Jones and Love and Basketball okay okay let me just back up and say Love Jones and Love and Basketball those are my two favorite movies um, I am a re relationship uh, dating I don't know if you want to say guru or that's just what my channel was about mainly but even if you notice even in my books I talk about relationships or some of them and even in my movies I would relate it back to some type of relationship so relationships is my thing so it's no surprise that Love and Basketball and Love Jones are my favorite movies matter of fact Women out there, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if Love and Basketball and Love Jones is either both your two favorite movies or one of them are. Go ahead and just give me a thumbs up. Um, fellas out there, if either one of those movies are your movies, I would love for you to actually add a comment because that would be great. And, and I want to know which guys they are. Okay, moving on. My favorite TV show... I actually don't have a favorite TV show. I watch a lot of things and um, like the, all of the CSIs, FBI, all of the murder mystery stuff because I really love that stuff. I am like all on top of it. Um, on Netflix, I'm watching, uh, what is it, The Making of a Murderer or How to Make a Murder? I, I'll put it up there. I can't remember the name of it. But all murder type shows I am into. So I guess if you want to say if I have a favorite show, it would be all of those collectively together. Okay, Law and Order, all of those, CSI, any of them. Uh, a side note, I just finished watching Dexter off of um, Netflix. I know that that was an old series. It was actually over by the time I got Netflix, but I don't care. I just finished the series. It was freaking awesome. I love Dexter. Moving on. <laughs> um, let's see. My favorite color. I actually have two favorite color colors. I, I guess I got a theme. I got two favorites of a lot of things. Anyway, favorite colors. Is actually purple and turquoise. Those colors look really good on my skin tone. And each and every time I wear them, I get so many compliments. So uh, naturally, I gravitate toward those colors. I'm getting compliments. I'm looking pretty, look good. Yeah, sonny. Turquoise and purple are my colors. Um, what are your favorite songs? <sighs> I really don't have favorite songs. Um... Usually, I don't even know the titles of the songs that I'm singing. I just know all of the lyrics, or at least most of the lyrics to the songs. But if you ask me who it actually is singing the song, I don't know. Um, unless it's somebody that's on the radio all the time and they've been playing that song over and over. Um, but if you're going back in the day and I start singing the lyrics to the song, I cannot tell you who the artist is. That's just the way that I work. I can know the song, don't know the artist. Moving on. <laughs> Uh, what's my favorite book? I don't have a favorite book either. I read all the time. As you guys know, I'm doing book reviews. But um, I read a plethora of books. I started out reading um, Patricia Cornwell, which she is a murder mystery um, um, author. So that's who I started off with. And one of, her, one of my favorite books from her is actually The Body Farm. Um, I also I always wanted to go to The Body Farm when I lived in Memphis because The Body Farm is in... Um, I'm pretty sure it's in Knoxville, not Nashville. But in any event, because I was in Tennessee, I always wanted to go up there. I never made it, but that's who I started with, Patricia Cornwell. So anything Patricia Cornwell, I'm on top of. Matter of fact, I need to get her new book, Depraved Heart, the newest one. I need to get that so I can read it, and I'm sure I'm certain that a book review will come from that because I love her. Um, <coughs> But in any event, I love all types of books, self-help books, relationship books, novels, mysteries, etc., etc. I just don't like um, historical. And I know that I should. It's bad, right? But I, it's boring to me. Anywho, whatever. Uh, do I believe in aliens? I'm going to go with no. <laughs> I believe in God and the devil. <laughs> um, but aliens, that's a bit far-fetched for me. However, I do like to watch all of those movies, and I do know that um, a lot of people seem to be abducted 
um, up in the Washington State area. So I've heard a little bit about it, but have I actually seen the alien? No. But do I actually believe in them? No. God and the devil. So if the devil is taking them, then okay, sure. I believe in aliens. <laughs> Where would you want to live? Well, right now I live in sunny San Diego, which that's another thing I try to avoid on my channel. But that's where I live, sunny San Diego. And uh, where do I want to live is the question. I really don't have a preference. Let's see where life takes me. Yeah, let's see where life takes me. I really don't have a preference. Um, my first best friend, actually her name is Charcy. <laughs> I met her in uh, middle school when I was going to the seventh grade and we met in the park. We both happened to go to the park the exact same day. We have been best friends for forever and a day. I still talk to her to this day. We don't talk as much, but um, yeah, I still talk to her this, to this day. So um, again, first best friend, Charcy. Uh, my first holiday holiday that I remember uh, so let me just tell you a little bit about me and my memory from my childhood. <laughs> I have a horrible memory. And my friend Charcy will tell you. <laughs> if she watched this, don't comment. Don't throw me under the bus. I'm telling them now. And one of my sisters, if she watched this, they hate asking me questions from my childhood because I can't never remember anything. So the first holiday that I remember, I don't remember. Moving on. My first concert. Ah. Uh, my first concert. Oh my God! I have, I have the music in my mind, in my head, <laughs> but I cannot think of his name. Oh man, man, man! If I if I think about it in the next few seconds, I'll tell you. But right now, I told you, artist not good at it. At the time, I know that he was the bomb and we was on it. But who he is today? <sighs> right. So my favorite song um, at this point. Do I have a favorite song? No, I don't have a favorite song at this point. But I do love India Iree's, um I am ready for love. Why are you hiding from me? Anyway, so um, that's a favorite song right now. I'm sure that I have a few others, but that one right now is the favorite song. Favorite restaurant? Don't have a favorite restaurant. I usually cook at the house. Um, I do eat out, don't get me wrong. I'm actually getting ready to go eat some gumbo right now because I am feeling gumbo. But um, anyway, so don't have a favorite restaurant. Can't just throw one out there. I like eating out sometimes, usually when it's not on me. <laughs> Tonight it's on me though. Anywho, uh, moving on, let's see. Three things that are near you at the moment. Um, let's see. <laughs> Okay, this is funny. I actually have my mace. <laughs> my mace is locked up in there, so that's near me right now. That's one. Um, I have some lotion that's near me. My jerkers, my hand lotion, because I'm very dark, as you can see, and I need to stay moisturized. So that's near me. And then, oh, I collect shot glasses. So this is my New York one, I think. Let me look at this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is my New York one. I collect shot glasses. So those are three things that are near me. Shot glass, lotion, and my mace. Handle. <laughs> and then, let's see. What are you wearing? <clears throat> I'm not big into name brands, so I don't remember. I know that I got this sweater from Marshalls. Uh, I have on some simple blue jeans. And uh, <laughs> do my little bit of makeup count. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> that's it. That's what I'm wearing. And the very last thing that I wanted to just add on, um, this is not a question, but I did want to tell you guys why I started my YouTube channel. Um, as you know, I am about relationships and I really am saddened by the fact that um, a lot of people just don't believe in relationships, but I don't think that they, I personally don't think that it's because that they don't believe in relationships. I think that it's because they were never given the proper tools on how um, relationships actually work and what they need to actually do in order to sustain their relationship. A lot of us have been um, around um, tumultuous relationships and not necessarily your own, but maybe your parents or just your friends. You've seen abusive situations or people just kind of just sticking around in the hopes of and really they should walk away. So all of that is to say I decided to start my YouTube channel because uh, a lot of friends and some family would come and ask me for relationship advice all the time and um, 
because I'm so very interested in these topics, I decided to start doing some reach of research of my own and try to figure out, um, you know, how and why men think so differently than I do as a woman. And uh, because of that, I started to learn a lot of things about men and started to apply them when I was going out on dates and everything. And I'm noticing what was working, what was not working. And this is how my YouTube chain, channel came about and how I'm able to give you these this information and pass it along to you. So I hope that you guys will stick around with me, learn some more with me, apply it to your life because knowledge is power, but applied knowledge is better. Anyway, so I am going to tag two beautiful YouTubers. The first one is Tamika Uploaded. She actually has a very bubbly personality and she does book reviews. So if you're into book reviews, make sure that you go ahead and check out her channel. The next a uh, YouTuber that I'm going to tag to do this video is Naturally Yours. She is a fashion and beauty blogger. So if you're interested, make sure that you go ahead and check out check out her channel. And both of their information will be in the description box below. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Two finger salute.